And this is the exact point with money. Everyone wants money put on their lap. If you truly wanted money, you wouldn't be able to sleep until you fucking had it. And this is the point. Because when I had nothing, I couldn't be distracted. You couldn't distract me from what I wanted. That's who I am. If I want something, I'm going to get it. I, I do not need to be motivated. I'm a disciplined person. If I allocate X amount of time to work, I'm going to do it. But that is the bottom line answer. It's discipline. You're going to have to work when you don't feel like working. That's how it's going to have to be. Or you're never going to be anything. One of the only things in this world you can control is your state of mind. You can't control the weather. You can't control other people. You can't even control your health. You might get a brain hemorrhage. Or you might get hit by a bus. One of the very few things in the world you have genuine control of is your state of mind. You decide if you're a disciplined person. You decide if you're a happy person. You decide if you're a uh, depressed person. These are things that in real time you can affect in your brain. This is all you can control on Earth. If you can't control that, then you're just a feather in the wind. And life's gonna blow you around and you might land somewhere good, you might land in dog shit, nobody knows. Your state of mind is what you should be able to control. If you can't wake up and say, today I'm making some money, and actually try your very, very best, and actually stay dedicated to that task, if you can't do that, you're fine. Every man understands you shouldn't be complaining about things you cannot change. You have to play the cards you dealt. To be born a certain height and then to sit there and go, what do I do? Well, I'll tell you what you do. You become the best version of yourself, just like everyone else does. Nothing about the height is in and of itself enough value for me to be a valuable man. As a man, you build your value. You are born with the cards you're dealt. Sure, it'd be ideal. Look, I'd love to be seven foot tall. I'm not. So it's the same argument. If you're five foot two, you need to become rich, strong, and funny, and charismatic, and interesting, and witty. If you're six foot four, you need to become rich, strong, well-connected. It's the same game. So to sit there and complain about it is asinine. All of you have a handful of lessons. I don't think you understand that. You could have been in a car crash at four years old and lost your legs. Do you have any understanding of how lucky you have been? This is pure luck. There's no re this only luck has kept you fully able body sitting there capable of learning and listening and becoming something. You don't really need to be that tall if you're important and rich and when you walk in the room, you think when fucking Mayweather walks in the room, people give a shit? Fix that frame in your mind. You are viewing yourself as a short man. Stop it. Walk the fuck up and be the man.